welcome friends at the Summary Club. Perhaps it is difficult to find among the great associates a more contradictory nature than Helena Petrovna Blavatsky. Her biography, Lines of Destiny, and work in the form of her many books and articles are indeed worthy of attention. A man of mystery or the sphinx of generations to come, Blavatsky left behind many disciples and followers who loved and even worshipped her, but she also left many enemies who hated her, ridiculed her, and slandered her. Surrounded by love and hatred in the annals of world history her personality is coming immortal. These words of Schiller are quite applicable in describing the image of Elena Petrovna. Blavatsky was one of the great philosophers and mystics of the 19th century, a researcher of the innermost esoteric treatises belonging to many peoples. On their basis she built her unique doctrine of man and the universe, universal, covering vast layers of time and completely consistent. Blavatsky was the founder of the new theosophical movement, a synthesis of science, religion, and philosophy. In her doctrine Elena Blavatsky analyzed all world religions of all times and peoples, Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Zoroastrianism, Confucianism, Taoism, as well as pantheism, pagan cults, Egyptian beliefs, Aryan, Lemurian, Atlantean cults, and others, have all become her field of study. The main purpose of her philosophy was to reconcile all strands of religion through proof of their common root of origin and also to bring to the world a knowledge of man and his role in the universe and ethics based on eternal moral principles. Many of Blavatsky's predictions, described in her secret doctrine, are coming true today in many areas of life. This applies to the divisibility of the atom, a law discovered only in 1897, after her death, to the irreversibility of matter and energy, to quantum physics, to phantom pains, and many other things. Today scholars study Blavatsky's books and seek answers to their questions in them, but the purpose of this article is to show the personal qualities of Helen Petrovna herself, as well as the highlights of her life. Helena Petrovna Blavatsky came into this world with a clear sense of her mission, which was to serve the common good and accelerate the evolution of human consciousness. To write everything about this great woman is quite a difficult task. The purpose of this article is to reveal and show readers her inner essence, the motives of her actions, and what she came into this world for and devoted her life to. The myths and reality of her life followed parallel and overlapping paths. Her personality was so great and multifaceted as if it were several people under one name. No one, not even her family and friends, knew her thoroughly. Elena was unpredictable and mysterious, a rebus and a sphinx for her contemporaries and future generations. To some she was a living legend, a discoverer of unknown paths, to others a destroyer of religious and age-old foundations. Some saw her as a fascinating, brilliant interlocutor, and others as a strange person explaining incomprehensible sciences. Some saw her as a great soul, full of compassion for all living things, while others saw her as ruthless. As a clairvoyant, Blavatsky was sometimes too trusting and opened her secrets to the first person she met, for which she later suffered greatly, infinitely patient with some people and impetuous with others. Her numerous biographers have reported that to be near Helena Blavatsky was to be in constant contact with wonder. She possessed natural magical powers from childhood and later amazed everyone with her wisdom and erudition. In her presence, flowers bloomed and objects moved into her hands at her call alone. For the sake of her service to humanity she had the capacity for incredible work and tremendous patience. Her indomitable strength was directed against a materialism of the time. She succeeded in inspiring many noble minds and was able to found a spiritual theosophical movement that influenced the consciousness of the people of the planet. In other words, Blavatsky was practically one of the first to make accessible the hidden secret doctrines of the ancients, which formed the basis of all religions, she highlighted the synthesis of religious and philosophical teachings throughout the millennia. She created the Theosophical Brotherhood, which was based on respect for all people, mutual assistance, fraternal support in the difficult conditions of this world, compassion and great love for humanity. Biography of Blavatsky Elena Petrovna Lines of Fate Elena Petrovna Blavatsky was born in Ekaterinoslav, Dnipropetrovsk, in 1831. She was a contemporary of Count Leo Tolstoy, Lenin, and Dostoevsky. 
At the time of her life there was the abolition of serfdom in Russia, the era of geographical discoveries of new lands ended, came a turbulent time of social change. Elena Blavatsky's mother, E.A. Fadiva, came from an old princely family of Dolgoriki on her mother's side. She was a romantic with a delicate soul and many talents, wrote several books about the life of women in Russia, also worked as a translator, but unfortunately she passed away early. His father, P.A. von Hahn, was a descendant of Baron August Hahn. He served in the army for 30 years and was awarded numerous orders and decorations. After completing his service, he came to Saratov, where he took care of his three children, Elena, her sister Vera, and little brother Leonid. By this time Elena's mother had already left this world at the age of 28. Her father always supported the elder Helen in all her endeavors, and their relationship was kind and friendly wherever she went. Blavatsky's grandfather, A.M. Fadiev, was a hereditary nobleman, writer, publicist, gardener, active statesman, and longtime governor of Saratov. Her grandmother, Princess E.P. Dolgorikaya, gently educated her children after the death of their mother, watching over their education with her own efforts as well as by hiring teachers. Grandmother knew many languages, was musically and artistically gifted, and had scientific works in archaeology and botany. She was well known among scientists and kept in touch with the Geographical Society of London. Her grandmother's rich library, which she, in turn, inherited from her parents, was the first treasure trove for the inquisitive mind of the young Lilia, as her family called the future Helena Blavatsky. The subtle world, invisible to others, was open to her, and she had clairvoyance and other talents since childhood. Subscribe to the Summer Club and watch short versions of the most popular and useful videos every day. In 1846, the father of Helena Petrovna Blavatsky received a new appointment and moved with the children to the Caucasus. There for the first time young Elena was introduced to high society at the ball of Prince M.S. Boronsar. There she also became acquainted with the already elderly Prince Vasily Sergevich Galitsyn, a Freemason, a major general in charge of the central part of the Caucasus, a privy councillor who possessed the magic arts. He visited the Fadayevs quite often with his sons, wishing to bind the families together by family ties. But for Lilia, a girl of unconventional views, it was much more interesting to communicate with Vasily Sergeyevich, whose mystical abilities and vast baggage of knowledge were close to her. They talked a lot, and for a long time. For the first time in Helen's life, they met a man who understood and shared her spiritual aspirations, and he knew far more than she could have imagined. Their conversations remained under the seal of deep secrecy, she never talked about them or wrote a diary, as many of her biographers lament. Her sister Vera Zelikovskaya wrote extensively about Helen Petrovna, this biography of Blavatsky has been translated into many languages and is now considered one of the most reliable. This article is based on it. It may sound strange now, but at that time a girl from a noble family could not show her face anywhere alone and certainly could not travel alone. Such was the morality of that era. Women had no passports at all and were assigned to their husbands. Blavatsky's incredible abilities, ease of thought, ability to penetrate the deepest layers of the essence of all things, combined with her chivalrous character, set her apart from Philistine society. And of course, in this milieu there were envious and slanderers, as well as opponents of all new and continually moving progress. But no attention will be paid to them here, despite their many attacks on Madame Blavatsky, which ultimately undermined her health. Whatever she was doing, her goal was to bring to people the spiritual knowledge that would accelerate humanity's progress. Elena did not want to share the usual fate of women, though for some the only dream, to be a diligent wife, mother, and hostess, to lead a quiet respectable existence. That was not for her. She knew her mission, and marriage was what she needed to fulfill it. Therefore, 16-year-old Elena agreed to the marriage proposal of a good 40-year-old nobleman N.V. Blavatsky. The terms were stipulated. Almost immediately after the wedding she left Russia for Constantinople. For the second and last time they met only 16 years later. First spiritual teacher and guardian angel. As a child, Helena was visited in her visions by an image of a man who looked like a Hindu. He helped her in the most difficult moments of her life, she called him her guardian angel. 
Once, while in London, she saw him live with a group of people of Indian origin. Lavatsky's first impulse was to go up to him, to talk to him, but he gave a sign not to notice him, and she froze. Then, the next day, she went to the same place, and there they met. His name was Mahatma Mariah. He told her that here in London he had a meeting with Indian princes. He also needed her help in establishing the future Theosophical Society. He also made no secret of the difficulties that would come her way and that she would need to live in Tibet for several years in order to complete this difficult and important task. From that meeting, the desire to go to Tibet became the guiding star in Helena Blavatsky's life. Dot Blavatsky made several attempts to reach the Himalayas, but all were unsuccessful. She became a true wanderer, her roots circling the globe, Egypt, England, both Americas, Asia China, Greece, Japan, India. Wherever she went, gathering invaluable knowledge and receiving initiations from spiritual teachers, she always sought only one reserved place. It was only on the fourth attempt that she was able to reach the place of her dreams and stayed there for seven years, but she always remained silent about it, something that her biographers very much regret. From her travels she returned a different person, knowledgeable, wise, gifted with unique powers. These amazing journeys were a bright moment in the biography of Blavatsky Elena Petrovna. The Legacy of Helena Petrovna Blavatsky. Books. In all likelihood, the development of psychic abilities was necessary for Helena to receive, through her higher principle, through her spiritual channel, the information that was needed by humanity. In modern parlance, she easily read the information she needed from the information field of the planet and from the ascended teachers. She was also a tireless researcher of ancient philosophical teachings, scientific treatises, religious and deeply esoteric revelations. Blavatsky's legacy consists of many books and articles. The foundational and best known of these are The Secret Doctrine in three volumes, Unveiled Isis in two volumes, and The Voice of Silence. In addition, from her pen came the following books, From the Caves and Wilds of Hindustan, Mysterious Tribes on the Blue Mountains, Conversations with Blavatsky, The Key to Theosophy, The Theosophical Dictionary, Neo-Buddhism, and other publications. Dot Blavatsky created the Theosophical Society with the help of H. Olcott, her ideological associate and helper for many years. The task of the society was to unite all people striving for spiritual development, for knowledge of the basic laws of the universe and human nature. These seeds of higher spiritual knowledge have now spread and sprouted. The essence of the information revealed by Helena Blavatsky in her books Isis Revealed and The Secret Doctrine are revelations about the great creating element, about the creation of the universe and man, about the immutable eternity and periodicity of existence, about cosmic and immutable laws. Her secret doctrine is the accumulated wisdom of centuries and millennia. Those who have been able to read and understand her books gain respect and a certain status among people who seek spiritual development, bringing them closer to the initiated in the innermost secrets. Blavatsky's life was plagued by public misunderstanding, fear and hatred by those against whom she fought tirelessly to eradicate ignorance and dogmatism in science and religion. For many years she had to endure attacks and undeserved slander, realizing that these souls would also come to the light, only much later, and so she never stopped loving. Helena Petrovna Blavatsky played an outstanding role in the dialogue between East and West. She introduced the Western world to the esoteric foundations of Hinduism and Buddhism, and paved the way for the Eastern teachings, yoga, transcendental meditation, Zen Buddhism and many others. Thanks to her, the great knowledge that was preserved in the ancient manuscripts of Indian culture did not die and became known. It was my pleasure to tell you a vivid biography of Blavatsky Elena Petrovna. She never belonged to any one people, the whole planet was her home, all people were her brotherhood, and her whole life was a great mission of service to mankind. One can speak at length about Blavatsky's legacy in books, but it is better to plunge into the wonderful world of her work yourself. And friend, don't forget to subscribe to the Summary Club for becoming more successful, educated, kinder and wiser every day. Save hundreds of hours and dollars spending on boring regular education. Feel free to write your opinions and questions about each video. We read all the comments.
In addition, go to our official website, where you can find reading materials or watch other videos on channel and links in the description. All the best.